Guess who lost the front lip? <laughs> Today's the big day where we finally get rid of this ugly automatic transmission. Snowman, get back in there, homie. Can't be leaving you outside, you're gonna start melting on me. <laughs> that was a stupid joke. All right, let's go. What's up, guys? Welcome back to another video. We're gonna be manual swapping the Eclipse today. A lot of you guys wanted to see another Eclipse build get done, so that's pretty much what we're doing. I don't know if this video is gonna be a one or two part video because it's a very extensive process to swap a manual transmission into an automatic car. Let's just make it fun, honestly. The whole point of taking a car apart with your homies is just to have fun with it. So that's the plan for today. Hopefully it all goes well. The only issue is that this is my daily driver. I can't really drive the other cars around every day. It gets pretty annoying. Um, if I have to, I have to as well. But we are gonna try to finish this thing within a day, max two days. Um, just so that I could be back on the road as soon as possible. Um, so at this point, let's pretty much head out to Lazy's house, start taking this thing apart. I don't think this car has ever been touched as far as engine bay goes. So it's gonna be completely like bone stocks. Damn. Park it all to yourself, dude. <laughs> I never get tired of looking at it. I'm gonna pull it out so we can put this guy in. Damn. Okay. All right, I'm gonna show you guys the bone stock 420A. So the first step is pretty much to loosen up the lug nuts, jack it up on the air, take off the wheels. The objective is basically to disconnect everything around the motor so that way when we pull it, it comes out nice and clean. Condenser's gonna get deleted. Um, for future, um, for future air what? Flow. Airflow. Oh yeah, for some boost, you already know. <laughs> so we're gonna get rid of this. So yeah, I'll put you guys back on the GoPro and let's see what.
Exhaust manifolds off. Lazy took care of some things here. As you guys can see, it's getting pretty well, clear. We deleted the we, we're gonna delete the heater core line. So yeah, we're gonna go ahead and tap all this. But um, we did have to do the axles and control arms. Um, and then after that, we're pretty much ready to move on to the motor mounts. Yeah, and then pretty much start pulling the motor, install the clutch, and do all that stuff. So good progress. It's been two hours thus far. And this is how far we've gotten so far. So not bad. Is that Omar? Yeah. Yo. You're gonna be here for a while anyways, here you go. <laughs> All right guys, so motor is completely out. It was a bit of a pain. Axles are completely out with the, with the new ones. Um, Lazy is having issues taking this one out. He's torched it like a thousand times. And oh, it's, seized. it's super seized. But the engine bay is pretty much all completely empty. I do plan on cleaning it. We still do have to detach um, the automatic transmission. Um, from the slipping, look what happened. The transmission mount pretty much broke. So good thing we got the, the manual transmission mount to replace with that one. Um, so yeah, we do plan on cleaning all this up. I guess I could put you guys on the GoPro, take this transmission out, replace the remain seal, put the new clutch on there. I'll keep you guys in the loop, but yeah, let's get to it. Automatic transmission's finally out. It was being a bit of a pain. Um, at this point, we're pretty much ready to make this car a roller because I did want to pretty much hit this with some purple power and kind of just pressure wash it to just clean it up a bit. It's super oily. This engine base pretty much bone stock and it's never been touched um, alongside the engine because as you guys can see, it's pretty filthy. Um, besides that, I honestly think this is going to be a two-part video because there's so much stuff to do. Here's the manual transmission. I have the cables. Uh, we still have to make um, room for the clutch pedal with the drill holes for the master. Um, there's a bunch of stuff to do. We also have to do the timing belt and water pump while the motor's out just for some maintenance. So I think for this video, we're going to mainly focus on cleaning the car up, cleaning the engine up, attaching the new clutch on there for the manual transmission, uh, doing the timing and water pump. So at least that's ready. We've got good progress so far. We're like around five hours in the job. I got the manual transmission. We're going to go ahead and uh, pressure wash this too. So it's somewhat cleaner when it goes in. And all the mounts. Lazy has his... Uh, Little pressure washer. This thing is filthy. Look at that. That's crazy. This thing is filthy, dude. Get all that nasty stuff out. Pressure washing is coming out pretty good. I don't expect to get every single little detail as long as it's somewhat cleaner. So, we got the turbo converter out. I don't know why it's light blue, but we're gonna go ahead and take these off so we can replace the rear main seal. Oh, do you have Loctite? I don't know. 
You need to put at least blue Loctite. And I think the foot pounds is 100. Oh. I'll look it up right now. There's a lot of cars coming, buddy. Everybody's <laughs> getting off work. Oh, I think I hear Danny. Danny! Woo. Oh, we got all the guys pulling up. I see you. Got Carlos. Got Tony with a Z. Uh, that front lip, though. <laughs> no, yeah, look at that. Everything matches. <laughs> Everything came together once we got the pink out there. Looking way better. It ain't perfect, but it's definitely cleaner. He's like, he's supposed to come that day, and he talks to me about it, and I'm like, you're coming, right? He's like, I don't know, I'm tired. I look at him like, you're coming. So, this motor mount was also bad. Luckily, Lazy over here has a bunch of DSM parts laying out in the back. He needs a replacement, so. Now we're gonna focus on taking all the setup apart, replace the timing belt and the water pump, and we'll get back to you guys once all that's done. Let me get the extra bolt. All right, timing cover is held on by three 8 millimeter bolts. And then gives you access to the cam gears, the timing belt, tensioner, and we're going to basically replace all the pulleys, tensioner, belt. Make sure that's up to date. Let's go. Yeah, belt. Man, is that easy? Damn. Jeez, this guy. <laughs> okay, tensioner's off. Belt's off. Got to take these pulleys off. That works. Tight. That's one pulley. That pulley's off. <laughs> Got the water pump being held on by a bunch of ton mills. And we have the new one right here. Yeah, the gasket. That's an odd shape. Nice, nice. Where do the 10 mil bolts go? They're all outside. Oh, shoot. Sure. Yeah. So we're like this. Kind of like that. It's kind of loose. Unless we put the, the tension around there and it kind of creates some. What do you think? This sounds pretty tight. Mm -hmm. Tension, just pull it. Pull it. Ready? Pull it. Mm -hmm. Pull it. Are you angry? Sure You're angry at that? <laughs> First step is adding some Loctite onto the, I think it's an eight bolt, right? Uh, eight bolts, um, use Loctite, we use the blue one, 100 foot pounds. You then attach the modular clutch through the flex slate on the back, so you take these bolts right here, and you basically put them through here, and which then attaches to the back of the clutch. So, we'll do that real quick, and we'll get right back with you guys. Damn, stage three? Stage one, bro. Uh, we ain't making that much power. <laughs> at least stage versus red. <laughs> red means race, right? <laughs> And just like that, the clutch setup is on. And so we're gonna go ahead and take off the axle seals and replace them with some new ones, just to try and avoid as many oil leaks as possible. Just generic meaning, so. Let's throw the shit out of this one. Yeah. Okay. I need no mallet, I got a hand, bro. Okay. Just playing, I do need the mallet. <laughs> <laughs> so, we almost messed up. Uh, we didn't realize that this transmission actually had no fork, because we were about to install the throw bearing on the input shaft and luckily Lazy has a full DSN garage up in here so he has an extra fork and an extra speed sensor for me. Ah dude, we were about to have to go back to the junkyard just to get a freaking fork dude. I should have kept it at that. Alright, so throw bearings on there, speed sensors on there, axle seals are on there. Uh, we're pretty much ready to put this thing on the block. Alright guys, so we pretty much got transmission, clutch, and the timing components, water pump, the com engine's completely refurbished and ready to go back in. But as you guys can see, it's completely late. We're going to go ahead and push the car back in. And I'll continue this video next time on the next episode. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and stay tuned for more.